Yo! Whoa, what's up, Pop-Up? Get out of here. What up, guys? This is the Commissioner here bringing you Week 1 Global Battle Association action. We have the... <coughs> excuse me. We have the Washington uh, Rotomskins, or Rotomskins, um, versus the Milwaukee Mawiles right here. Uh, don't over showdown. Uh, this is week one action. Um, let's hop right into it and do our team preview here. Okay, so team preview. Um, Tan is bringing a Gudra um, Conkledor. Reuniclus. Uh, you can you can't really see the Porygon 2 back there. Uh, Cofagrius, uh, who he names Are You My Mummy? And Bronzong. So, um... It's safe to say I did a lot of preparing for this match, considering I had two weeks. Um, so I'm expecting, I expected this thing to have Stealth Rocks, which it usually does. Um, uh, my Trick Room Setters, I thought Bronzong was going to be one. Uh, and possibly, I mean, these three guys right here could set up Trick Room. Um, he didn't bring the Mega Mawile, which I was uh, grateful for. Even though I did have a game plan for it, I'm not sure if... It would have succeeded because a Mega Mawile is a beast. But he didn't bring it, and he didn't bring his Cresselia, which was also cool. Um, but then he would have three Psychic types, so um, I think he chose Bronzong over that. But the Stealth Rocks, obviously. I am running uh, Mega Charizard X. Um, all of my Pokemon are, uh, are um, you know, invested in HP and everything. Um, and then, you know, some are tanky, some are not. So, um, I have Mega Charizard X, I have Physically Defensive Rotom, I have, uh, Specially Defensive Celebi, I have, um, Specially, uh, Specially Offensive Latias with Expert Belt, um, I have Physically Attacking Bisharp, and I have... Uh, bold cottony over here or bold whimsicott over here. So this is my team um, Let's hop right into it So I'm gonna start off with whimsicott because he's a taunter and I'm assuming uh, Tan's tan probably sees this whimsicott lead coming um, But I don't want to over predict so I would I wanted to I ex expected maybe a bronze on lead to get up south rocks or trick room So I was gonna taunt him so he couldn't uh, but Tan does a smart thing and realizes that a lot of my guys are weak to fire. Even though I do have some people to sponge it. Um, and he goes into his... He starts off with his Gudra. Um, it's a really good play on his part. Um, uh, Gudra probably also carries the Ice Beam too, which is not good for me. So, um, he's... Uh, I don't want to. I don't want Whimsicott to take a, fi a fire move, a, f a Flamethrower or a Fire Blast. Uh, because I'm, pre I'm pretty sure that's coming. There's no reason to taunt that Gudra at all, and if I hit it with the Moonblast, it's not going to do shit. So I go straight out into my special wall. I know what you're thinking. I know Celebri is a grass type, but he usually, I mean, he could take hits pretty well as a special wall. So I just wanted to scout and see what he was going to do. Um, so he goes for the Flamethrower. It crits me, which isn't cool, because I think I could have maybe been at 50% there, and then I probably would have outsped him the next turn. But I got to do another switch here and pray to the Lord above that he goes for a flamethrower. And I go out in a Charizard. Really risky, but I was sort of also confident in it. And he goes for another flamethrower because the Celebrity couldn't take another. So I'm not going to overpredict here. I Mega up. I'm just going to go straight away for the Dragon Clock. There's no way Gujar is living that. I know I outspeed because the Trick Room isn't up. And it takes out his Gujra. He's going to bring in um, Cafagrigus. Who I know these I know in a trick room these things can be especially offensive. Uh, he's most likely physically defensive. I don't want to hit him with a dragon claw or flare blitz because I'll probably get mummied and lose my tough claws. Um, so he I think Mark Tay made a prediction here and he goes for a willow. So I go out into Rotom uh, because Rotom does have the trick and I would love to trick this thing and give it a choice scarf and maybe get some leftovers. So that's exactly what I do here. Rotom takes the burn, which is fine. I know I'll outspeed, and I'm going to trick something. Um, I want something to lose its item, so give Cofagrigus the Choice Scarf. I get leftovers, which is going to be awesome. 
And the Cuff Aggregus uh, reveals he is a Trick Room setter. But he sits with the Scarf. He is now locked in the Trick Room. So uh, I know he's going to have to switch or he's just going to stay in and keep Trick Rooming because he's Scarf. So I'm going to pull a Volt Switch right here um, and get Switch Initiative. And whoever wants to come in. Um, yeah. So Regan Eclipse comes in. Takes uh, about 25%. 24% from the Volt Switch. And now I'm going to go straight into Bisharp. I knew I needed to keep my Bisharp around. If he wants to attack me, go for it. I'm just going to Sucker Punch from here, and it kills him. So I get off to a nice, a nice 6-4 uh, lead right here. Uh, two threats are in the books. And he's going to go to Conkledor. Conkledor, whose name is Pork, was a real problem. Um, I, I'm not sure what I do here. Oh, I go to the Whimsicott. Uh, expecting a, a mock punch or a drain punch, which is cool. Um, yeah, so I know from this point on, whatever, even if he had ice punch or fire punch, which I'm, I know he has ice punch, even if Whimsicott got hit with one, I could encore him into it. And basically, I'm trying to stall out this trick room. You'll see a lot of times during this match, I just kind of like let people die to stall out the trick room. You know, that's how, that, that helps. So I'm going to encore because it's priority prankster him into a drain punch and he is going to drain punch me and I'm going to live with that one. So I could moon blast here, um, but I decided uh, not to. I decided to go into someone. Uh, Trick Room is dead, so I know that. I was counting turns. Uh, go into Latias because Latias can live a drain punch. Um, I think I'm pretty sure Mark Tan's going to switch out here also. So, so I have Latias in. Uh, but this thing is also a problem. I know this thing has Ice Beam. I do not want Lantias to take Ice Beam. So I'm going to go back into my special wall. I know still he is weak to Ice. Um, he re Porygon 2 reveals he's a Trick Rumor, which is a good thing to have on him. I know he's weak to Ice, uh, but the leftovers saved me here. Um, and I'm going to get up a Recover. Uh, so I can Recover Stall from here because I'm gaining more back. Uh, with leftovers, barring a crit. So I'm just going to keep doing this, and I'm going to try to stall out this trick room. So I'm just sitting in here, taking these ice beams. I know they're coming. Uh, especially defensive Celebi is uh, doing doing his job. And I say Whimsicott and Celebi did their job. They didn't kill anyone, but they did their job, which is fine. That's what they're here to do. So they're uh, stalling out. Celebi's just stalling out this trick room. Uh, I got a Psychic off here. Um, which is a little risky, but the leftovers brings me back to 50, and, um, I live another with 10%, uh, which is cool, so, get another recover off, I'm at 60%, so I gain 10% there, and 6% more with the leftovers. The trick room was done, so I know I'm gonna outspeed, just hit him with another psychic, trying to wear him down a little bit. Um, he hits me with an ice beam. I can go for a recover here because I know I'm going to outspeed because the trick room is not up. Um, which is awesome. And I was counting trick room turns this game too. I was tallying them. So, go for recover. I am sitting pretty here. And then this ice beam takes me down to 40%. Uh, I'm still going to do this. I'm not trying to stall out ice beams. I'm just trying to make him switch out and do something so I can go from there. Because I can U-turn on whatever he switches out into. Um, this one crits me and freezes me, so I'm crit frozen. Uh, Celebri does have natural cure, so I'm going to save him right here. Um, and just expect another ice beam. And I go out in the Rotom Wash, I'm pretty sure, because he resists it. Even though he's a physical wall. Ugh. Oh, excuse me. Tad sets up the Trick Room, which is a good move on his part, because he knows he at least has a turn to spare with that, uh, freeze. Unless I would have thought out, but I didn't want to risk that. So Tan's going to go for the recover. I'm just going to Volt Switch here. Which is awesome that he went for the recover. Because I Volt Switch. And then I can freely switch into Whimsicott. And Whimsicott again is going to Encore uh, this Porygon. So I'm not going to take an Ice Beam. Because I'm going to Prankster Priority on Encore this Porygon too. And he's going to go for another recover. And just like I said, Whimsicott and Selby are stalling out this Trick Room. The turns are a waste in. Uh, the mountains are going to return to normal soon. Tan goes out into Kalfagrigus. 
important. I uh, we'll see what I do. It'll come back to me once it happens. Oh, I got on the Bisharp. Um, I switched Bisharp out here because I didn't want him to get willowed. Uh, but I could have knocked off because he won the bronze on. That would have done a shit ton of damage. But I wanted to save my Bisharp. Bisharp would have got willed right there. That would have been real, real bad. Um, so I go out into Rotom Wash here. Uh, I'm pretty sure I just go for a Volt Switch because I know I will outspeed. Oh, I'm expecting the rocks here. I knew the rocks were coming, like I said before the match. And I'm going to go into my Defogger, Expert Belt Latias, who is running four attacks and then uh, a defog. Um, so I'm going to get the defog off here. Um, I don't know if he expects me to have it or not, but I just want to do it. Um, and the trick room isn't up, which is cool, so I'll still outspeed even if he wants to switch. Okay, now he sets the trick room. So his three setters are Cofagragus, Bronzong, and Porygon 2. Those are his three setters. Um, he gyro balls here, and that is going to do... Not a lot. I'm going to Shadow Ball. I do get a crit, um, but I pretty, it would have been a two-hit KO anyways, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm carrying the Expert Belt, so that's going to do a little bit more. He does a nice play right here, and he goes on to Porygon 2. Uh, I didn't want to over-predict. I, I honestly saw that coming, but I didn't want to over-predict because I wanted to kill Bronzong and get it out of the way in, ca in case I wanted to set up rocks again. I thought it was worth the risk, in my opinion, so... Um, here's where Tan starts making a comeback because uh, things just start getting whittled down. I, I, I mean, too much is too much ice weakness uh, right here. Um, I'm gonna need to do something about that in the future. But uh, yeah, so Tan's gonna take out Celebi, and I'm just stalling in terms of Trick Room. Like I said, just stalling them out, and there goes the Trick Room, which is awesome because I can go into Bisharp here, and I wanted to. I wanted to go for a brick break here and I didn't because I wanted to get rid of his Eviolite and I figured um I don't know if he wanted to switch in Conkeldur uh I would get a knockoff on that so I just go for the knockoff which was huge that was a huge play right there because at that point I can really hurt this Porygon too next time he wants to come in he sets up the trick room again um he withdraws and goes in the Conkledor. So he wanted to get the Trick Room up before Conkledor was coming in. Uh, but this Conkledor in the Trick Room is honestly a menace. Um, so I go into Whimsicott here, and he's going to reveal that he has the Ice Punch. I'm just trying to stall out turns, honestly. And he's going to kill me with that. So Tan has tied up the game. Um, I have no one to go into. I have no one to go into when Conkledor's in the Trick Room. So I'm just going to go in the Rotom Wash, uh, my physical wall, um, still, I mean, Rotom is one of the bulkiest of guys, uh, he doesn't, you know, doesn't take it really well, and I made a huge risk here, I don't know if that mattered, but I was, ex I was like, it, Conkler was carrying the Life Orb this whole match, and I expected it to be, uh, like, Sheer Force, or, um, Sheer Force, or, uh, Iron Fist, because... I know that uh, Mark has ran that before, um, Iron Fist, and then it'll stick like Drain Punch and four Elemental Punches on this guy. So I made a risk there, and I burned him. He could have easily been Guts, but I was I was like, uh, you know, there's two other abilities that he could have, so I'm just gonna burn him. Um, it whittle it helps whittle down uh, this Conkledor. It doesn't really do anything to help Rotom. Rotom's just gonna die here from a Drain Punch. Um, but the life orb you see right there, and then a little bit of the burn action that will take place uh, will bring Rotom down to 57%. The trick room dies, which is awesome. Um, and I'm going to bring in Latias here. And no one wants to take a Psy Shock. No one wants to take a Psy, psy Shock. Conkler is just going to just going to bite the bullet there. Um, Tan needed a free switch, honestly, for his Porygon too. So I think he just that's why he just sacked him off. Because um, at this point, Porygon 2 can Trick Room and then recover. So, uh, I hit Porygon 2. It brings it down to 7%. He doesn't have the Violite either. It's just bulky. Um, and he gets up a Trick Room, and then he gets up a Recover. So, I'm just going to keep hitting this thing. Just maybe hoping for a crit. He's gaining HP back. I'm going to try to switch up moves and go for a Dragon Pulse. 
And the extra HP investment helps me out with that Ice Beam right there. As I hit the Dragon Pulse, uh, maybe he thought he would take me out, and I take out Porygon too. And that is honestly fantastic. Honestly fantastic. Um, uh, I go for a Shadow Ball here. And I think Tan is just trying to get the Trick Room up, but... Uh, he does it one turn too late, and it was already it was already up for that turn. Um, so I can just Shadow Ball my words away from here. And I'm just going to take out Bronzong with a Shadow Ball. Uh, Expert Belt, Latios, coming through. S super effective hits will do more because of the Expert Belt. And I'm sitting pretty right here. Uh, getting that Porygon 2 out of the way was huge. Getting Conkler out of the way was fantastic. Um, I think the... Um, the best play that happened was uh, my Bisharp knocking knocking off that Eviolite and doing a shit ton of damage to that Porygon too. Uh, and then Latios took an Ice Beam like a champ and Latias, sorry, finished it off. Latias coming away with a plus four in this game, cleaning up at the end. And the Washington uh, Rotomskins, I think Rotomskins sound better, whatever you want to call me. Uh, or want to know so great game mark um i gotta face mark again later down the road uh i know that's gonna be a hell of a battle um mark made me think a lot during this match it didn't might have looked like it from that replay but honestly i was taking notes and uh he's a force to be reckoned with so um that is it for week one um and i hope to see how all of your videos turn out i'm looking forward to them later